I am starting off with my foundation primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Water. And I love this foundation primer because it is just super hydrating for my skin. It gives my skin a nice, healthy glow. Then for concealer, I'm just taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade uh, Light Neutral. And I am just using that to cover up my dark circles and any blemishes that I want covered or any redness or anything like that. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend that out. You guys know that I love this concealer because it is a full coverage concealer, which is really nice because I have very bad dark circles because I do not get any sleep at all. It's such a wonderful time to not sleep at night. Like, I love it. Okay. And then for foundation, I'm taking my favorite combination right now, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I love these two mixed together. They are both not full coverage, but when put together, they make a full coverage foundation. They're both such lightweight foundations, and I just love the finish. I love the matte finish. It's like my favorite thing ever. Okay, moving on to eyebrows. I'm actually going to switch up my routine a little and do the eyebrows first. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Duo in the shade Chocolate. Right now, I am trying out a different way to fill in my brows. I'm just kind of changing up the shape a little bit. Obviously, still using the same products, but just kind of changing the shape of the brow just a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to set the brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. Um, I love this because it just keeps my brows in place all day and also adds a little bit of color to them as well. Then to prime my lids for shadow, I'm just using MAC Painterly Paint Pot. You guys know the drill. I use this in every tutorial, but this is my go-to eyeshadow primer. Then for eyeshadows today, we're actually going to be using the Lorac Pro Palette, which I haven't used for a long time. I'm taking a mixture of the cream color and the white eyeshadow on my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending, and I'm just going to run that across the entire eyelid up to the brow bone. This is just going to kind of set our primer. And then for my crease, I'm taking the eyeshadow taupe on a Sigma E25, and I'm just running that across the entire crease. And this is just going to be our transition sh shade. And then I'm taking this gold eyeshadow, and I'm using my Sigma E55 eye shading brush to apply that to the entire eyelid. This color is so pigmented, but so pretty, just so gold. I just, I love it. It's so pretty for fall. And I've actually never used this eyeshadow until this look. So I was very like shocked. And then I'm taking the color Espresso from the palette. I believe it's called Espresso, yeah. On an e.l.f. contour brush and I'm just going to place that on the outer corner and blend with my Sigma E25. I am blending this out, mostly focusing it on the outer corner, but also pulling it into the outer half of the crease. And then I am taking the black eyeshadow, and I'm just taking a little, little tiny amount of that and placing that on the outer corner. You guys know that it's so much easier to add too much product than it is to take away. So start out with just a little bit of product and add more if you want to build up the intensity of the color. So I'm just using my Sigma E25 to blend that out. I am kind of pulling it into the crease just slightly just in that very outer corner of the crease, not too far. I don't want to darken it up too much. Then I'm taking that gold eyeshadow on my Real Techniques eye shading brush and I'm just running that across the entire lower lash line. And then I'm going in with Espresso and I'm placing that on the outer corner of the lower lash line with the same brush. Just kind of darken up that outer corner a little bit. And then I'm taking the eyeshadow cream on a Sigma Large Shader E60 and I'm just going to run that for the brow highlight. Now it is time for eyeliner, so I'm just using the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. You guys know that I keep the liner very simple all the time, just, you know, you could definitely add a wing if you wanted to. It would look awesome. I can't do winged eyeliner at all, but if you can, go for it. Then for mascara, I'm just using my favorite, which is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I love this mascara. It's like so expensive, but like so worth the price because it is amazing. The volume it gives my lashes is like insane. So yeah. Okay, moving on to concealer again. I'm just using the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair. No, Light Fair. 
Ah, I don't know, I don't remember, I'll link it in the description. Um, but I'm using the lightest shade for this part here. I'm just going to brighten up the under eye, clean up the outer edges of the eyeshadow, and just brighten up the center of my face. And then I'm going to set with my powder, which is the um, Maybelline Better Skin Powder in the shade 30 Warm Nude. And I love this powder, it makes my face look flawless. Then I'm taking the banana shade, and don't mind me here, okay, I'm like totally snacking on Oreos as I film this video. Yeah, I realized I hadn't eaten all day, so I'm like, hey, let's eat some Oreos while filming a makeup tutorial. That makes sense, right? No. Okay. Time to contour. I'm using the middle contour shade with my Real Techniques setting brush. Just going to lightly contour. I really have not been into contouring that much lately. Obviously, I want to contour a little, but I've been really more focusing on more like natural contouring and not so much of like the harsh chiseled contour that I used to really like to do. Um, and then I'm just going to blend that out. I'm taking MAC Vanilla to highlight the inner corner of my eyelid. And then I'm taking the Amaretto Blush from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette on a Real Techniques blush brush. I wanted to keep the blush pretty simple. And I love this color. It is so pretty. It's like my favorite blush. This is the only blush I use out of the palette. I wish it came in a single, like, blush. Does it? I don't know. And then I'm using Prosecco Pop for my highlight because I wanted to do kind of more of a gold tone highlight because, like, you know, we're working with gold eyeshadow. So, yeah. Anyway, highlighting down the nose, the chin, the cupid's bow. And now, here is the star of the show. The lipstick is Nevermind by ColourPop. I love this color. It is so vampy and dark and purple, but it is perfect for fall, and that's what I really like about it. Um, so yeah, I haven't worn a color like this for a long time, but I love it. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video.